Hey, my name is Gaia Athena and today I'm bringing you my book review of The Naked God by Peter F. Hamilton. This is book three in the Night Storm trilogy. I have done a review of the second book. This review, this, this video is probably not going to be a whole lot different than that, but when I read the second book, that was about half a year ago, so I have definitely, I'd like to say, grown as a booktuber, so hopefully this video will be a bit more interesting than that one. I'll show you books one and two. So this was book one, The Reality Dysfunction. And this is book two, The Neutronium Alchemist. And now I've reread re book three, The Naked God. I have read this series once before. Here you have all three of them. I read this series for the first time quite a few years ago when my boyfriend's brother recommended it to me. So I bought the first book and I really liked it. So then I bought the other two books. And so I read this series years ago. Yeah, I think it was published in um, the 1990s. I really liked the series at the time. And I went on to buy and read other books by Peter of Hamilton, who is a British science fiction author. He mostly writes books for adults. I haven't read all of his books yet, but I've read quite a few. And he is my favorite science fiction author. He writes epic uh, space opera science fiction. I mean, out of the ones I've read at least, uh, mostly. So this is a trilogy, a series that has a lot of characters, a lot of viewpoints, a lot of events on different planets. That's not going to appeal to everyone, but we'll get to that. I don't want to spoil too much, so I will just give you a brief synopsis of the beginning of book one. I'll show you the back. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so book one starts off with um, some kind of strange alien event happening on a planet that the humans have colonized. It takes place in, it says here, 2600 AD, roughly. So humanity has colonized various uh, planets in the galaxy. They have spaceships. But really, the series is so much more than just that beginning. But I'm keeping this review spoiler free because I don't think many of my subscribers have read any books in this series. So I want to keep this review spoiler free so that everyone who wants to can watch it. This series won't appeal to everyone, which is why I'm going to tell you a bit about it. So you can decide if it appeals to you or not. I'm not really here to like convince you to read it or something. I just want to tell you about my reading experience because I know this, this, this only appeals to some people. I loved it, but I have, I have very broad tastes in reading and it also really depends on my mood. These books are quite big and they all have about 1200 plus pages, I think. This one has 1257 pages. That is a lot. It took me a month, about a month to read this and it was a reread. I did read other books while I was reading this. I find that helpful because I'm not always in the mood for such a complicated book because you do need to think about it and it, do, it does have some, to me, as a non-English person i mean english is my second language it does have some words in here that i don't know it even has some words in it that when i asked my boyfriend who is from the united kingdom he did not know or he, he said he'd heard of it but he wasn't sure of the meaning so it yeah you need to think about it which is why i read other easier to read books alongside it such as the seven husbands of evelyn hugo i wish you all the best anyway you've seen the reviews or not um so this video is going to be a bit more about my reading experience. I think this series will appeal to you if you like epic science fiction with lots of characters, lots of locations, um, plenty of descriptions and science. This is definitely, I think, what I would call hard science fiction. Sometimes the author goes into sort of the science behind it or when he is describing a new planet, he will describe a little bit of its history or for example the color of the nebula or the sun or stuff like that you have to like that for me i have to be in the mood for that i love like epic books when i'm really in the mood for it and, and they are books that i enjoy but sometimes i'm more in the mood for like a character driven book with just one main character then i'm better off reading that the book is written in third person past tense which i think suits it it would be way too confusing if it was written in first person 
Um, the series also involves uh, some alien races. It also involves, let's say, elements of spirituality, of paranormal, of religion. Yeah, I don't want to go into too much detail, but because of spoilers. I really like the illustrations on these covers, um, but these particular editions are no longer being sold. And so the books now look a bit different, but this is the editions I've got and that I really love. So this, this is what I've got to show you. If you are somebody who doesn't like books with lots of characters and viewpoints and complicatedness and science and technology and futuristic things, then this won't be a book for you. It is a book for adults, so sex is mentioned on some occasions and it is generally it has a purpose in the story so but i would not recommend this for let's say a young teenager now this series is written in the 1990s so maybe on occasion i think it does use the widest default trope which is a shame but also it was written in the 1990s and that stuff wasn't as talked about then so for me personally i am less bothered by it but i would be interested to see if um, any of the books the author has written in the past few years, if they still have that or not. I, I will get to those books eventually, but for me to read those books, I have to reread some early books. Anyway, so just know that going into it. There are characters of colour in this book, I mean in this, in, this, in this whole series, but there are also a lot of white characters. Or let's say characters I assume to be white because their skin colour, I don't recall it being mentioned, whereas from the people of colour, their skin colour was mentioned. But um, since this is the third book, most of the characters that play a role in this book are characters that we've met in the earlier two books, so I can't quite remember what they look like, to be honest. I read book two last year in November, and I reread book one. Um, so this series was a reread. The first time that I read this book, I was a bit confused towards the ending. So this time, with my reread, I wanted to pay a bit more attention at the, the last part of the book so I could understand things a bit better. When I read the series for the first time, my English wasn't anywhere near as good as it is now. And I'm not somebody who is going to pause every time they encounter a new word in order to look it up. That would take the flow out of the story. I only do that generally if I can't infer the meaning from the context or if the word is really important and keeps like repeating itself throughout the text and it's really important that I know what it means then I'll go and pause my reading and look it up but most of the times I just keep going I can't remember where I was going with this <laughs> yeah so this book will appeal to only specific people I know most of my subscribers don't really read a lot of science fiction and this is epic space opera hard science fiction I would say so definitely not something that appeals to everyone but I do appreciate if you're watching even if this is not a book for you that you like hearing about my reading experience I watch a lot of book TV videos as well and I'm not always interested in every book a person talks about but I still like to hear about my friends reading experiences like I said it took me a month to read this book and it was really good to reread it I loved it it was so so good lots of twists in this series and of course I have a sort of a nostalgic um, connection with it because this was the first series that I read by this author and it's what really got me into this author's works but not only that but also science fiction itself so my boyfriend's brother he introduced me to Peter F. Hamilton with this book and he also introduced me to Joe, Hal Joe Haldeman who also writes science fiction but his books are a lot shorter and a bit more well not as com not nearly as complicated as this i also read two of his books and then i read this i can't remember which one i read first but so those two authors kind of got me into reading science fiction in general because science fiction in the netherlands is not really a big thing or at least it wasn't in when i read this so in dutch bookshops we had fantasy and science fiction or fantasy nsf as it's usually abbreviated and that is mostly filled with fantasy books back in these days. I noticed that in the UK it, it is sometimes called science fiction and fantasy rather than so science fiction comes first. Science fiction is way more popular in the UK and I don't know about the US. I haven't been to the US so. We are seeing more science fiction in the Netherlands since 
the times of the 1990s but and there are some Dutch science fiction authors but we yeah they're it's not as big as in other countries I think um, I believe this book was translated into Dutch but I don't think they translated any more of the series which which is a shame but I guess the market just wasn't big enough for that anyway so the fact that science fiction back in those days wasn't as prevalent in the Netherlands is probably why I never got into it until I met my boyfriend and his brother because it just it wasn't as much of a thing yeah, there was science fiction series on TV I do remember they show, were showing Star Trek and stuff I never really watched it nobody else I knew really did so as a kid I didn't really or as a teenager I so that was not something I gravitated towards because I didn't really know what it was about but it's, it's been more of a movie and TV thing than a book thing in the Netherlands in earlier days though there are exceptions but fantasy was much more popular this series is one of the series that got me into science fiction however if you're new to science fiction I definitely would not recommend starting here unless you love let's say epic fantasy if you love epic fantasy then this might appeal to you because I was used to epic fantasy that was mainly what I was reading when I started reading science fiction so you know also epic fantasy has also you know story on an epic scale lots of characters lots of viewpoints different locations things going on multiple storylines that sort of thing that's what this has as well and what appeals to me but if you're new to science fiction and you're not into epic fantasy for adults I should say if you're more used to let's say fantasy for young adults then this would not be my place to start for science fiction I would say but I'm sure there's other videos about where you would start if you want to read science fiction so that's that's not what we're discussing here so I just wanted to share some bookish thoughts it was really nice to read the series again so we got the, the reality dysfunction the neutronium alchemist and the naked god and now that I finished rereading this I will be rereading another series by this author he has another series that which involves another universe let's say another world than this one so they're not connected and I want to reread the books in that series in order to read the next ones that have been published since then if that makes sense but I'll be doing a video about that when it's when I read that overall I really loved rereading this series it was nice to that it was a reread I don't reread a lot of books but if it's been a while and it's something I love then it's really nice to reread a book and it makes for a slightly easier reading experience most of the time though I would like to read a new book rather than a reread anyway I love this series I may not be as excited about books as some other people are on my videos that is but that's just not me I love this series so much so overall I love rereading this series this third book and yeah that's all I just wanted to share my reading experience I hope you enjoyed this uh, bookish thoughts video and I look forward to seeing you in my next video bye